क्वेश्चन इज डी स्क्वेर माइनस फोर डी प्लस थ्री ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू ई पावर एक्स प्लस वन द होल स्क्वेर ओके द आर ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाउ आर ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू ई पावर एक्स प्लस वन द होल स्क्वेर ओके सो नाउ वी टू सिंप्लीफाई अ बिट आर ऑफ एक्स दैट इज वील अप्लाई द ए प्लस बी द होल स्क्वेयर आइडेंटिटी एंड वील राइट इट एज आर ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू e power x uh, whole square right e power x whole square that is a square plus 2ab 2 into e power x into 1 plus 1 square so therefore the r of x we get is e power x the whole square that is e power 2x plus 2 e power x plus 1 so while simplifying we got the r of x as this term so now we are going to write it again d square minus 4d plus 3 of y is equal to e power 2x plus 2e power x plus 1. So here we have three terms in place of r of x. We have three terms. Here, so see the last term is constant. Okay. So we, in the one of the notes we have discussed that whenever we have a constant, it can be written as 1 into e power 0x, where the value of a is 0. Okay. So now we are going to apply that. So here, y p. In order to find particular integral y p, we have three terms, right, of e power x. So we are going to, in order to find y p, first we need to find the particular integral of this term, then this term, then the third term. That is, first we need to find y p one, y p two, then y p three, then after that to find y p, we need to sum these all terms. Okay? Yeah. So I will tell you in the problem how to show that. Okay. So the first step remains the same. to find the complementary function that is we need to put d is equal to m according to the auxiliary equation so it becomes m square minus 4m plus 3 equal to 0 use the quadratic formula here we in place of b we have minus 4 so minus into minus plus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square uh, 16 and 4 into 3 into 1 so 12 divided by m is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 4 is 4 by 2 m is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 by 2 so we get m is equal to 4 plus 2 by 2 and 4 minus 2 by 2 which corresponds 4 plus 2 is 6 right 6 by 2 comma 4 minus 2 is 2 2 by 2 so this is 1 2 1 za through 6 3 za so the roots which we are getting is 3 comma 1 right So now the particular integral, uh, sorry, the complementary function is written as c1 into the first root is e power 3x plus c2 into the second root is e power x. So this is your complementary function. So now we need to find the particular integral. So uh, this is the formula for particular integral. Y p is equal to 1 by f of d into r of x. But we have a particular integral of r of x is of the form of e to the power 2x plus 2 e power x plus 1, right? We uh, split it into three terms. So we are going to uh, use the terms one by one. So first, let's take r of x is equal to e power 2x. So that we need to find y p as y p 1 plus y p 2 plus y p 3 at the, at the end. Okay. So the first thing we are going to find is y p 1. For that, we need to consider only r of x is equal to e power 2x. Okay? Yeah. So now one by what is the f of d which we have got? Yeah. So in the question it is given that d square minus 4d plus 3 into r of x here. Now first we need to consider e power 2x in order to find y p 1. Okay. So again we need to replace d by a and the value of a here is 2. Okay. So y p 1 is equal to 1. Sorry, e power 2x. Divided by 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 3. Therefore, y p 1 is equal to e power 2 x divided by 2 square is 4. So oh, 4 minus 4 into 2 minus 8 plus 3. So y p 1 is equal to e power 2 x divided by 4 plus 3 is 7 minus 8 is minus 1. So the y p 1 we get is minus of e power 2 x. Okay. Yeah. So now we found only y p 1. So similarly, we, we need to find y p two and y p three. So now, 
in order to find yp through yp2 we need to consider in the this value 2 into e power x okay yp2 is equal to 1 by f of d is again remains the same for all d square minus 4d plus 3 and into r of x now is 2 e power x okay yeah so yp2 is equal to so here the value of a is 1 right so i am going to write it directly 2 into e power x in the numerator and the value of a is 1 a is equal to 1 here okay 1 square minus 4 into 1 plus 3 yp2 is equal to 2 e power x divided by 1 square is 1 minus 4 plus 4 plus 3 so we get 2 e power x divided by 1 minus 4 is minus 3 and minus 3 plus 3 is 0 see we got now this as 0 right so now we what to do further I have told you right whenever the f of d term when we replace it by a and when we solve when we get this f of d is equal to f of a is equal to 0 now we need to take the derivative of f of d that is now f of d we have it as d square minus 4d plus 3 right so now we need to take the derivative of f of d that is f dash of d f dash of d is d square derivative is 2d and minus 4d is minus 4 and uh, the value of uh, constant 3 is 0 so now the yp2 would be looking like 2 into whenever we took the derivative i said right we, in the numerator what we need to multiply x correct 2x into e power x divided by now the f of d has changed to 2d minus 4 yp2 is equal to 2x into e power x divided by the value of uh, uh, a remains the same here 1 right so 2 into 1 minus 4 so 2 into 1 minus 4 that is yp2 is equal to 2x e 2x e power x divided by 2 ones are 2 minus 4 yp2 is equal to 2x e power x divided by 2 minus 4 is minus 2 we can cancel them so the final value of yp2 which are getting is minus of x e power x see like this we need to find the value of yp2 so now similarly let's find the value of yp3 that is the constant term yp3 is equal to 1 by f of d remains the same d square minus 4 d plus 3 into r of x is now 1 okay so now yp3 we will be like 1 divided by whenever there is only a constant 1 we need to put the value of a is equal to 0 d is equal to d by a when we replace and we need to put the value of a is equal to 0 right so 0 square minus 4 into 0 plus 3 so this is 0 0 and only 3 remains so the value of final value of yp3 which we are getting is 1 by 3. So now we have found the values for y, yp1, yp2 and yp3. So, so now we need to sum this up in order to get the term yp. Okay. So now yp is equal to yp1 plus yp2 plus yp3. So yp, what is yp1 we got? Minus e to the power 2x plus of minus x into e power x right yp2 plus 1 by 3 so the final yp which you are getting it as minus e power 2x minus x into e power x plus 1 by 3 so this is your required particular integral okay so now in order to write the general solution we know that y is equal to yc plus yp right so the final general solution would be looking like so what we got the value of yc as yeah, c1 e to the power 3x plus c2 e to the power x this is your yc term plus the yp term minus e to the power 2x minus x e power x plus 1 by 3. So this is your final answer of this question. mark it here very important so this is the problem x square d square y by dx square minus 4x dy by dx plus 6y equal to sine of 2 log x okay 
yeah so the first thing what we need to do is we need to do a few of the substitutions right x square d square y by dx square is written as d into d minus 1 into y x dy by dx is written as dy so here in the place of rfx we have log x so we need to replace log x as z right yeah so now let's write the substituted terms that is x square d square y by dx square is written as d into d minus 1 into y minus 4 dy plus 6y equal to sine of 2z right yeah so d square minus d minus 4d plus 6 y equal to sine 2z right so this is d square minus d minus 4d is minus 5d plus 6 into y equal to sine of 2z yeah so now for this we need to put d equal to m we get it as m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 find the roots the value of b here is minus 5 so it is minus of minus 5 plus 5 minus 5 whole square is 25 minus 4 6 are 4 into 6 into 1 is 24 by 2 5 plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 right so we get m as 5 plus 1 by 2 or 5 minus 1 by 2 that is 6 by 2 or 4 by 2, 2 1 are 2 3 is 2 1 are 2 2 is a, therefore the roots are 3 comma 2, right? So now for this write the complementary function c1 e to the power 3z, right? c2 e to the power 2z. So now find the particular integral y t formula is the r of x divided by f of d where the value of r of x here is sin 2z divided by d square minus 5d plus 6 right yeah so here again we need to replace d square by minus of a square where the value of a here is 2 minus of 2 square equal to minus 4 so now yp would be looking like sin 2z divided by minus 4 minus 5d plus 6 so yp is sin 2z divided by minus 5d and 6 minus 4 is 2 plus 2 so now the conjugates are minus 5d minus 2 right multiply it for numerator and denominator so now we get yp is equal to multiply minus 5d into sin 2z minus 2 sin 2z divided by a plus b a minus b form again minus 5d the whole square minus 2 square ok so now solve yp would be equal to minus 5 into derivation of sin 2z that is 2 cos 2z minus 2 sin 2z divided by 5d the whole square that is equal to 25d square minus 4 so minus 5 into 2 is 10 cos minus 10 cos 2z minus 2 sin 2z divided by 25d square minus 4 so now our particular integral is minus 10 cos 2z divided by 25d square minus 4 minus 2 sin 2z divided by 25d square minus 4 so now again we need to replace d square by minus of a square the value of a here is 2 so minus of 2 square is equal to minus 4 right minus 10 cos 2z divided by 
25 into minus 4 minus 4 minus 2 sin 2z divided by 25 into minus 4 into minus 4 so now our particular integral is here he seems here we have minus also our denominator when we simplify we get it minus so this would be plus 10 cos 2z divided by 25 4 are 100 minus 100 minus 4 is minus 104 so here you are again plus minus so minus 2 times by minus is plus so plus 2z and 2z divided by 104 so we can simplify this 2 1s are 2 52 is all right yeah again 2 5s are 2 52 is so we get 5 cos 2z plus sin 2z divided by 52 so this is your particular integral so now write y equal to yc plus yp we get y as yc we got as c1 e to the power 3z plus c2 e to the power 2z yp we got as 5 cos 2z plus sin 2z by 52 right yeah so this is your y so now we need to replace z is equal to log x also e power z is equal to x so our final general solution will be looking like c1 e to the power 3 log x plus c2 e to the power 2 log x plus 5 cos 2 log x plus sin 2 log x right upon 52 ok so now we can uh, do few substitutions here so here we can write it as 3 log x corresponds to log x whole cube and 2 log x corresponds to log x square right so after substituting that we can uh, cancel e and log so our left out terms are x cube and x square so we can write c1 into x cube plus c2 into x square plus 5 cos 2 log x plus sine of 2 log x divided by so this is your general solution so the question goes like this d square y by dx square minus 6 into dy by dx plus 25 is equal to e power 2x plus sin x plus x so here we can see that in r of x we have all the three types so this corresponds to type 1 right uh, this is a in the form of e power ax this is type 2 where this is also from sin ax and this x here is a variable which corresponds to a monomial that is a polynomial again this is again a polynomial right so we this corresponds to type 3 so here we need to solve this x by the division method right the type 3 problem which I have discussed okay yeah so here also we need to apply the rule here to find the complementary function the rule remains the same first replace all the d square by dx square dy by dx term so that is d square y minus 6 dy plus 25 so take uh, d square minus 6 d plus 25 common out so this would be e power 2x plus sin x plus x right so now again we need to put d is equal to m with the condition of auxiliary equation that is m square minus 6m plus 25 equal to 0 so now use the quadratic formula the value of b here is minus 6 so it would be minus into minus 6 so 
6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 the whole square is 36 minus 4 into 25 into 1 so 25 4 is 100 divided by 2 m is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 100 is minus 64 by 2 so m we get it as 6 plus or minus square root of 64 i square since we have minus by 2 so if we get it as 6 plus or minus square root of 64 is 8 and i square is i divided by 2 okay so here in the numerator we can take 2 common it will be 3 plus or minus 4i by 2 so our required root is 3 plus or minus 4i okay so here i am just taken in the numerator i have taken 2 common so that i can cancel the numerator uh, denominator 2 so now our uh, complementary function is c1 cos the value of beta is 4 c2 sin 4x e to the power alpha is 3 so this is your complementary function ok so now we need to find the particular integral so the r of x is e power 2x plus sin x plus x divided by f of d is d square minus 6d plus 25 so now we need to solve it for separate terms yp1 yp2 and yp3 and we need to add them okay yeah so now we need to find the yp1 so here the value of uh, e is 2 we need to replace d by a since this is of the form type 1 right so in type 1 we need to replace d by a where a is equal to 2 so yp1 is e power 2x divided by 2 square minus 6 into 2 plus 25 where we get e power 2x as 2 square is 4 minus 6 into 2 12 plus 25 therefore our yp1 we get it as e power 2x divided by uh, 25 plus 4 29 29 minus 12 is 70 so this is your required yp1 so now solve similarly for yp2 that is the function is sin x divided by d square minus 6d plus 25 so here again the value of a is equal to 1 we need to replace d square by minus of a square so minus of 1 square is equal to minus 1 so yp2 is sin x divided by minus 1 minus 6d plus 25 we get yp2 as sin x divided by minus 6d 25 minus 1 is 24 plus 24 right so now we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by its conjugate minus 6d so this would be minus 24 now So now multiply the terms that is minus 6d sin x minus 24 sin x divided by this of the form again a plus b a minus b so we can write it as minus 6d whole square minus 24 square okay so yp2 is now minus 6 into the derivative of sin x is cos x minus 24 sin x divided by 6 d square that is 36 d square minus 24 square is equal to 576 ok yeah so now y p 2 we can write it as minus 6 cos x divided by 36 d square minus 576 minus 24 sin x divided by 36 d square minus 576 ok so now again we need to replace d square by minus of a square with the value of a equal to 1 here minus of 1 square equal to minus 1 again so our y p2 would be looking like minus 6 cos x divided by my 36 into minus 1 minus 576 
minus 24 sin x divided by 36 into minus 1 minus 576 so by p2 the denominator we get the answer is minus so this would be 6 cos x divided by 36 1 the 36 minus 36 minus 576 that is 576 6 not 6 612 okay so again this would be minus there is already a minus so 24 sin x divided by 612 so can we simplify this further so we can simplify by 6 table itself right yeah so this is equal to 6 1 za 6 1 not 2 za okay yeah and this we can write 6 4 za 6 1 not 2 za so this is y p 2 we get it as cos x plus 4 sin x divided by 1 not 2 okay so in this way we have found y p 1 and y p 2 so finally we can write y p as y p 1 plus y p 2 that is e power 2 x by 17 plus cos x plus 4 sin x upon 1 not 2 so this is your required particular integral ok so now we need to oh sorry we have missed to write uh, yp3 right we have another yp3 term ok yeah so now we will find that yp3 so sorry I had one more term left yeah so that one more term is of the form of third type we will solve them now yeah, so now we need to find yp3 where we need to arrange some of the terms now since in the numerator actually in the numerator we need to write in the descending powers and in the denominator we need to write it in the descending powers of descending powers order so since in the numerator there only there's only one term so we can write it as x only so this is of the ascending power so the first term we, we need to write it as 25 second term is minus 6d plus d square okay so now for this we need to apply the division where this uh, divisor will write as 25 minus 6d plus d square into x okay so now the first thing is we need to see uh, what answer we are first in 25 and x we need to consider if we multiply what we need to multiply to 25 so that we get the answer as x so if we multiply 25 into x by 25 we get the answer as x right yeah so first term here we need to write is x by 25 and write it as x here along with that it's minus 6d into x by 25 in order to find our second term that is minus 6d into x by 25 so we get it as minus 6 into the derivative of x is 1 right so minus 6 by 25 we get it as so we will write minus 6 by 25 so we need to write it here okay minus 6 by 25 not in the quotient and d square into x by 25 so now we need to take d square of x by 25 so we need to take the derivative in, uh, derivation twice so first derivative is x or derivative of x is 1 so 1 by 25 and the derivative of 1 by 25 is 0 so we get this term as 0 I will not write it again ok so now we need to change the signs whatever we got that is this is minus and this is plus so we can cancel this first term so right now it is plus 6 by 25 so now again 25 into uh, what would give you 6 by 25 ok so in these terms what we need to do is wherever there is 20 in this term wherever there is 25 right in the denominator if we have 25 along with the, so, so its number so what we need to do is whatever we need to multiply right we need to take its square that is if we multiply 25 into 6 by 625 we will get the answer as 6 by 25 so let's check it how so 25 6 are 150 upon 625 so this is now 
ट्वेंटी फाइव टेबल लेट्स टेक द ट्वेंटी फाइव टेबल ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्स हज़ार वन फिफ्टी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव हज़ार सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव सी आई वी गॉट इट एज सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द टर्म लेफ्ट ईयर वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वॉट एवर द नंबर वी हैव एंड द नंबर वी हैव अलॉन्ग द डिनोमिनेटर इफ दोज नंबर आर द सेम वी नीड टू राइट द आंसर एज प्लस सिक्स बाई सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज वी नीड टू टेक द स्क्वायर ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर ओके या सो अवर टर्म्स आर एक्स बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस सिक्स बाई सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वी गेट दैट सिक्स बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव और टेक इट्स माइनस साइन एंड अवर गोल हियर इज टू मेक द रिमाइंडर जीरो राइट या सो अवर रिक्वायर्ड वाई पी थ्री इज वॉट एवर इज देर इन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज एक्स बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस सिक्स बाई सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके either you can solve this again uh, by taking the lcm on both sides and simplify the term we can do that or you can keep it as it is okay yeah so now our final answer for particular integral we get is the first uh, y yp1 is we got as e power 2x by 17 plus yp2 is cos x plus 4 sin x upon 1 not 2 plus x by 25 plus 6 by 625 so this is your final particular integral okay so now for this the general solution can be written as y equal to yc plus yp where y the complementary function we got is c1 cos 4x plus c2 sin 4x into e power 3x right and the particular integral we got it here as e power 2x by 17 plus cos x plus 4 sin x upon 1 not 2 plus x by 25 plus 6 by 625 okay so we need to write all the terms very carefully we cannot skip even a single term see 